examine the blindingly fast science of table tennis, we enlisted Team USA Olympic player and current national doubles champion, Erica Wu. In competition, not only are table tennis balls fast, they're difficult to predict. During her serve, Erica imparts spin on the ball at a rate over 3,000 RPM. That's a rotation twice as fast as a major league curveball. And although a table tennis ball travels a much shorter distance than a baseball, topspin can cause it to break as much as two feet. But since the surface of the ball is smooth and seamless, it's virtually impossible to read spin with your eyes. This is why table tennis players like Erica rely on their ears for information. Picking up the subtle audible differences between a loud flat contact, which imparts minimal spin, and a softer brushing sound indicating massive spin. And identifying rotation isn't the only reason Erica relies on sound. Studies have shown that auditory stimuli reaches the brain up to three hundredths of a second faster than visual stimuli. This helps when dealing with balls that leave the paddle at speeds over 70 miles an hour. Even though air drag reduces that speed by more than 30%, a shot can still cover the nine foot table in less than 11 hundredths of a second. That's about three times faster than the blink of an eye. With so little time to react, players naturally move back away from the table. For each additional foot the ball has to travel, Erica gains roughly 13% more time to react. Which is why elite table tennis players like Erica sometimes play as far as 20 feet behind the end of the table. But even at that distance, they only have about half a second to react. That's comparable to returning a 150 mile an hour tennis serve while returning the ball to an area nearly 50 times smaller than the size of a tennis court. In addition to quickness and precision, playing table tennis at the elite level also requires incredible endurance. Studies of VO2 max, a measure of the body's ability to utilize oxygen, have shown that elite table tennis players are on par with professional soccer players. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brankus.